All right. So today I'm just making a quick video to give people an idea of what depth art is and how to use it. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. I went to https colon slash slash depth dash r dot com and this is what's going to come up. Uh, they just added a builder that goes along with depth R, but we're not going to go over that today. We're just going to go over exactly what depth R is. So once the website's loaded up, you'll see at the top, as of the time that I'm making this video, there still is free uses for everybody. I think you get three free uses a day right now still. So you'll be able to try it out without having to purchase anything. So once this is loaded, all you need to do is click the upload button and you need some type of AI, generally used AI images and stuff like that for trying to create depth work. Um, that's what's going to work the best. So all I did was get a random image of a crow on a little leaf, a little branch and uh, that's it so this is what we're going to test i haven't tested it myself or anything yet but this is i want to make sure that it's an accurate test and everybody can see exactly what i would do when it's run so let's just hit generate depth map there is cases where it's completely unusable because the estimation just it came out where the shadowing the lighting whatever comes out weird in the image and it just can give bad results okay all right here we go so this one's fine this will this will work perfectly fine for showing everything off um <clears throat> so right after i hit uh generate depth map this is what i got it takes about 10 seconds to generate the depth map I am going to change the details. First of all, I'm just going to leave all this clicked exactly how it is. I'm just going to go up here. I already have details selected over here. I'm just going to hit high and hit update. <clears throat> okay, took about another 10 seconds. All right, so I'm just going to leave the image exactly how it is here. I, you can mess with the height a little bit. Maybe we can actually probably raise the depth a little bit maybe to get rid of it, uh, some of the problem areas and add a little bit more depth. Okay, that's not bad. Um, you'll have to play with the height and the depth. It looks like the height, it looks like the whites are hitting right about where they need to already. So I'm actually not going to change the height. But what you can see here now, this is this is the problem when it comes to depth estimating is that it's it's estimating. So we can see here even though in the image this is flat down at the bottom, here it's wanting to lift. It's getting lighter, which means it's going to be lift it higher up it's going to be higher up on the on the depth and the darker it is is the deeper the depth is going so we can see from this point on right here um really ideally we we want this to be all black and it's not so it's going to be a little funky looking down here so what i'm going to do is i'm just hitting save i'm just going to hit save png all right, I'm just going to click here and hit open. I'm going to right click it, open with GIMP. Okay, so again, as usual, I'm going to be using GIMP uh, because it's a free art program that anybody can get. All you have to do is just Google GIMP, G-I-M-P, and you'll get it. You'll find it. So this one isn't too bad at all, and uh, it's about the average of what you could expect to get when when you run a depth R uh, 2d image in depth R. so first what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go to colors and i'm going to go to exposure i'm just going to move this black level up some to get rid of most of that stuff but we don't want to move it up too much or it'll start damaging the image as well but we want to clear up as much of this uh shading as possible it looks like 
I lose a little too much? Nah, that's fine. Okay, right about there. I'm gonna hit OK. Again, all I did was go to colors, exposure, and mess with the black level and turn it up a little bit. So next thing I'm gonna do is simply click zoom and I'm gonna come over here, I'm zoom in on this area. I'm literally, hardness, force, that's all good. I'm literally just gonna paint it. So there's other methods you can use and different things. This is what I use, this is, um, reasonably quick to do and it works with a lot of the different problems if you have too many problems and you need to edit it before you can actually use it uh, this is going to help a lot that's literally it that's just like that now you have a good piece that will be ready for engraving uh, depth into or even turning it into a 3d model if you want to use a free online 3d model um, export from a PNG or something like that but let's see am I gonna do anything else here I come over here I'm gonna go to brightness um, this is ready to go and You could always do, let's see, let's just go ahead and take it really quick. File new. All I did was copy it. 1500 by 1500. Color it black. Background. I'm going to drop this back on here. And I'm simply going to. ring out around this I'm gonna go to file new again okay there we go my ring is slightly off I was doing it a little too quick but you can see that is going to be a very nice piece